Hi, in this video, we'll discuss handing in Google Documents to Schoology using the Google Drive Resource app. So, when you're using a Chromebook, you tend to use Google Drive for your documents. How do we submit these with the Google Drive Resource app? This is a really slick way uh, and a really nice integration that Schoology and Google have created for you. So, we're going to go to the assignment, and here I am in a course, and I have a place where I can submit the assignment. So I'm going to click on it, and you generally have three ways of handing an assignment. You can upload something. That's not what we want. You could create it in the second tab, but actually what we're looking for is the Resource tab. Since this is the Google Drive Resource app, okay, we're going to click on Resources first, then Apps, and then the Google Drive Resource app is loaded for me. You may see it. You might see a button here that you need to connect if this is your first time using it. So um, I have some assignments here in my drive, uh, and I'm going to show you how to hand it in with an existing assignment and then how to create an assignment right here in your Google Drive. So we're going to do the existing si assignment first. So I'm going to just say, OK, this assignment, let's just say I want to hand this in, and I have to click on it. And then once I do that and select it, I'm going to see an Import menu. I'm going to click on that. And then I have a choice to import the file. Now, thinking about Google Drive, just to tell you for a second what this is going to do. In your Google Drive, you have the ability to continue to edit documents. Okay. Um, when you are handing it in via Schoology with this import, import file, what it does is it creates a copy of it. So it's kind of like a snapshot and it goes into Schoology. So even if you do this, uh, basically, you know, if you make changes after you do this uh, step, you just need to hand it in again. So I'm going to do the import file, and it's making a copy, and it's submitting it to the assignment. And then I see assignment submitted, one item. So I'm just going to click on it to verify and show you what it looks like. There may not have been much on this page. There we go. We have a couple of words. But it looks different. It's not like Google Docs anymore. Um, it is a snapshot. To get out of here, I would click on the X. Okay, so um, the next thing I want to show you is how you would create a Google Doc right from here, from the assignment tool. It's pretty easy. So I'm going to click on this resubmit assignment to get back into it. And you can see I'm in revision two here. I'm going to go to the same place, resources, apps. And now um, what I want to show you is how to, to create a uh, Google Doc from here. So directly from this menu, I could click on add resources. And I could add a folder, but then I can create any of these types of Google documents. Okay, so I'm going to select this Add Google Document. And it's giving me a place to do a title. So this is actually creating the document in your Google Drive, by the way. So if you would go back to your Google Drive, you know, just go to the Drive, not in Schoology, it would be in here. Okay, so here it is. It's Zundel 5. Um, by the way, you could do a search here. If you were looking for a file that you that already existed, okay, and you didn't see it, you have a search box up here, which is a little different than it was a couple years ago. Okay, so here is the uh, document I just made. I can click on it, and it opens it right up on top of the Schoology, and I can just start typing my content. Okay, and I just work on it, work on it, work on it. Okay, then I could close it up. The changes are made or they're saved, like Google does the automatic saving. And then I would do what I did with the other document to hand it in. I would put a check by it. And I could do multiple files, by the way. And then I could click on Import, Import File. And again, it's making that um, snapshot. So here's the, the second revision. If I click on it, Okay, you can see that the content is there that I just put there. So one other thing I want to mention is when you go into this Google Drive assignment, excuse me, Google Drive resource app, I want you to be aware of a couple of things. One is treat this like your Google Drive, because if you add something here, it is added in your Google Drive. And also, if you check this and you go to the cogwheel, you could edit, but you could also delete it. So treat this with care. 
um, this is not like Schoology. This is this particular piece right here, this Google Drive is your Google Drive. So if you delete something here, it's going to be deleted in your drive as well. So just a word of warning. And the last thing I want to show you is that you could click on shared with me and I don't have any right now with this particular account, but documents that have been shared with you could be handed in as well. All right. And that is how you use the Google Drive resource app.